because Ty from LA requested it. Um, making this video here to really show you how to list a product inside of a Shopify store. Okay, I'm gonna go over here to this Shopify store. Gonna add a product. Click on the little tab inside your back office in your Shopify store. This is everything that you need to get a product listed on your store. So, what we're gonna do real quick is I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna. I already took the time out and I went ahead and found this product on a different store. I just Google searched. Um, dot dot my shop shopify dot com put a little space then I get some bunny ears quotations or whatever and I go um, makeup right close it enter and it's gonna bring up all the stores that have about my shopify URL that are selling cosmetics or makeup stuff right so I'll just click on the first one here let's open it a new tab real quick and alright cool so it brings it to a somebody Shopify store and this just cuts my work in half you know what I mean it really cuts down a lot of time I got it because now I can get ideas about what a store what other competitor stores look like um, you know I can see if they're making money if they're not making money on the store usually there's like apps and stuff that'll tell you if they're making sales if it's somebody that really knows what they're doing they may or may not have the app on there um, this store looks pretty pretty nice you know what I mean a lot of times I see people they go in and they actually spend a lot of money on getting a store looking good but they're not making any money they're not making any return I've never done that uh, as you you've seen in my previous videos I keep it really simple I don't I try not to get too out there and, and get crazy and making everything look all nice and pretty and beautiful before I get money flowing in or even list a million products I literally would list like five or ten products actually the first product I list that's the product that I would start pushing traffic to because as I'm listing more products people are visiting my store and there's a chance for for potential sales so I'm just browsing through this store looking for something you know just that catches my eye uh, I don't think the store is making much sales because uh, there's no notifications however I could be wrong so what I'll do is take the URL go over to Facebook and I'm just gonna type it I'm just gonna paste it right into the search bar on Facebook and let's see if they have they're running any Facebook ads or if they have they have any ads on Facebook. They don't. So this could be like a really new store for somebody that's just getting started or a store that's been up for a while and they're just not making any money. Um, makeup weapons. Let's see what this is about. Oops. All right, this one's same difference. Pretty simple. Let's see what this foundation brush. All right, really simple theme they've got here. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Um, they're just oh, they're selling the brushes individually. Cool, that's pretty dope. So what I would do is is just copy the, the title. Go over to AliExpress. See, I got the whole set right there, but I'll go over to AliExpress because this is what I use for my overseas. Um, for my suppliers, I find a lot of my products on here and I drop ship. So we'll just search, see what pops up in the search after we search for it. Mini dome foundation brush. Alright, so here we go. Not too many products popped up, so they're using a custom um, uh, product name there, so you know you can't really steal their products. That's a cool, cool little secret right there that you can use. Now, what you want to look for is products that have a lot of orders. See, like this one, 2,373 orders. That's a product you want to look at promoting. Why? Because that's letting you know there's already a market for the product, right? The product is selling very well. People are purchasing these products. This one is 1768. He's got great feedback, two crowns. That lets you know that people trust him. He's been selling for quite some time. So let's just looking to see if there's any others on the page <clears throat> doesn't seem to be so let's start with this this top one right here 2300 orders I'm just gonna click on it um, oh it's asking me to sign in hold up let me sign in real quick I'm not sure what my password and stuff is because I already signed in on this thing so you already signed in whoops yeah, I don't even know what it is. Oh, that sucks. 
that password. So he sent me an email. Yeah, I have quite a few email accounts that I use. Just so you can feel free to, you know, there's no limit on email accounts that you can use with Gmail. I'm horrible at keeping my passwords. Alright, there we go. So let's see if we can reset this password real quick, get back into my AliExpress account, and um, get you listing your first product or a product on your Shopify store. Um, where's that? Let's go to um, spam. Where's my spam folder at? Spam, where you at? Where you at? More spam. Let's see if it's in the spam folder. Nope, not in the spam. Not in the spam. It's not here yet, so I'm not exactly sure. Alright, that's taking a little bit, but. Alright, so anyway, let's see if we can bypass this. I might even try. Oh man, I don't know the email for this man. Oh, the boom, there it is, huh? Alright, so bump all that. So. All right, we're in here we're looking at the product. A couple of things I, want, I like to check out. Check out is the uh, stars, the ratings for the, the product. 817 votes, all five stars, which is good. We've got multiple colors to choose from. An assortment of orders, and I like just I like to just go in and just click on the product to see where it's shopping, where it's sell, where it's shipping from. Sorry. And then it's a dollar forty per price. I like to go buy now. This is just so I can see what the final product is. The final um. Prices, so it's going to be a dollar forty cents shipped in twenty to thirty nine days. It's usually a lot faster. Do not freak out by that. Okay, by the shipping date, it, they just tell you that because it's coming from China, and it could take up to that long. Just you know what I mean. Just don't freak out over it. Okay, it's not a big deal. Customers, yeah, they, they get a little crabby sometimes, but there's ways around it. So, what I like to do is I like to use a tool called Jing, right? J I N G. And it's this right here. I just like to use that to capture my, my uh, images. As you can see, my desktop's all littered with images, and that's not really always good. So as soon as Jing decides to pop up. Come on, Jing. Whatever Jing decides to pop up. Anyway, just to, there we go. All right, so close that. Jing's up. Now this is what it looks like. It's just going to set off on the corner of your screen, like that. Just click on the little plus bubble, and then I like to come and just screenshot these images, and then give them a name. Screenshot. So make a brush or double piece color. That might be too many. I think the character limit's like 32, I believe. So there's that. Alright, so it's going to save it. I have this designated to be saved in my Dropbox because sometimes I'm on my other laptop or on my desktop so I can easily access my files around from different computers or what have you. So it makes things a lot easier for me. Um, I'm waiting for There we go. So this is in my Dropbox. I'm just going to put this in Health and Beauty. Um, I like to categorize everything by folder. Uh, what is this? Make up brush. Is how so this way it's easy for me to find the product later on if I need to find it. Boom, I can just search by name or what I think the name is. So I'm just going to capture a few of these images right here and then list uh, the different colors that they have. I'll probably stick with like four or five. I try not to give customers too much, too many options because then they get confused and they don't know what they want to purchase. Um, Brush all colors, and this just automatically saves it right where I need it to save. So let me grab like one of these right here. Come on, 
grab that one. There we go. Boom. Alright, so just for the sake of brevity, to keep this video short. Alright, so you want to snap all these images, snap all the color images over here as well. So that way you can have all the stuff, you know, the colors that you want to use, you want to have them available so at least that looks good for the product on the product page okay when people choose the color they're gonna get they're gonna see the actual item and they'll be able to feel a little more comfortable and secure with what they're purchasing because they can see the item there just gonna do blue do a couple more just so you can see it try to keep this video really short so you can get to work on this. Boom. All right. So blue, and I'll just finish this up after. So there we go. Boom, blue. Save. And then what you want to do inside the Shopify store? You want to come in here and then just uh, mini portable. I'll just say mini make up brush, or literally just steal their title. What's the title they used? And just like reword it. Oh, that's mini dome foundation brush. So we'll go. Yeah, we'll go mini retractable makeup brush portable saw. So retractable, mini retractable makeup brush, mini retractable powder contour makeup brush. That's what I'll tell you. Mini retractable powder face powder makeup. Brush. Boom. And then right here in the description, I do a couple of different things. Let me just upload the videos real quick. The images, sorry. In the description, I put just some generic blurb, just something also about the product so that they can, um, and hang on. Uh, beauty, makeup, boom. Just something to kind of help get them to add the item to cart and make a purchase. That's what I try to do on there and then I'll, I'll this is selling for a dollar and forty cents so we can do like uh, I would test this free plus shipping honestly because it's only a dollar and forty cents so let's go back to the store let's go twenty four and ninety five what colors do we have blue black and yellow let's do blue black and yellow so color add and that's the variants blue black yellow yellow all right this changes the color and it's going to populate all that in a second see there they go right here's the prices and um, we're not going to put any prices in because we're going to use this as a free plus, free plus shipping offer so i said hey get your make up done on the go with this really cool retractable make up base uh, Facebook face powder brush. This normally sells for twenty four point nine five. We want you to have it today for own for free. Just pay shipping and handling. Then it's yours in a few days. And I let them know. I put the little image in here to help uh, provide a little more security, right? And then what I do is center all this, center align. Oops, center align it so it looks pretty cool under the under the um, in the product description. And then I'll highlight right here and I'll make this like a heading two. And then I would go to the background and highlight so that way it's highlighted. And then uh, what I would also do is look back at the product description and see what they have about the product on here and literally features. Boom. Just grab all this. I'll just grab all that and just drop this. Right in there. Boom. 
So now the description looks nice and fat and fluffy. The, this product is pretty much done. If I didn't talk about something in this video, it's because I don't do it and it's not important. So only focus on the things that I'm showing you in this video. Everything else, product type, vendor, collections, tags. I don't put any of that stuff in there, honestly. I just leave it just as you see. I don't uncheck anything. Leave the skew. Don't Just leave everything else as is. Okay, follow the instructions just as I gave it to you right here. And you will be golden, okay? Hit save. You don't have to worry and try to figure out each and every block on this page. I see some people that do that, and it just blows my mind. I did previous videos teaching this, and they would ask questions about things that I didn't talk about in the videos. Not because I forgot. It's literally because I don't mess with that stuff. You know what I mean? And this is, I don't mess with it because it works just fine just the way it is. It doesn't really hinder what I need to have going on. Some of that stuff is if you're promoting other type of uh, items and stuff. So that way you can have different uh, forms of... Um, control okay so I'm just gonna do blue it's gonna upload the image right here so you upload these images and it's gonna populate right here I'm gonna do oh it's already there boom so blue and this pulls the images clearly from the images that you upload the product images so it makes it easier for you to upload all your variants and stuff and I'm gonna do the yellow one so I'm gonna finish the rest of these off after the video so it's it's already long enough as is but hope this helps um, and when you do this, you click on view, you're going to see the product, boom, it's right here, it's listed, right? It, it's ready to receive traffic. You see that? It's ready to receive traffic. It's ready to be purchased. People can add the cart and just keep going. Now, if they add the cart, it, the item is going to be totally free because I don't have shipping on there as yet. So what I would do is I would go over here. There's two more steps to this that I normally do. I'll go to more actions, manage countdown timer. And what I want to do is activate the countdown timer to, to increase a sense of urgency and scarcity. Okay, so I want to go ahead, activate. And this is an app called Hurify. You can get Hurify, you can get in the App Store. I probably covered it in another video. Um, loyalty customer, sure. That's a new that's a new uh, feature they recently just added. I'm just gonna put three hours and two minutes, and then I'm gonna go progress sold number text, uh, replace text, sold number text. Initial sale two three five seven two and eight. Uh, that's, that's this is beef up the numbers. This just helps to show people that hey, this is selling. You might want to grab this item. It's pretty hot. Um, and I would save that. I would go over to my product description page and I would just refresh. And you would see a countdown timer is going to pop up right here in a second. It's probably not loaded yet. One more time. Let me see preview. It should save something if I didn't save correct. Save it, save it, save it. Save it. Alright, so one time timer. Product was up, updated successfully. So let's refresh now. We should see a product a timer pop up right here. Huh. I don't know, it's kinda weird. It's not popping up. About that and see. Right, let's see. A timer should show up right here. Countdown timer or something with that information. If it doesn't show up, there it is. So it's probably that customer loyalty cookie thing. So it's showing the the amount of sales. See how it has the little notification thing here. That's how we know stores are making sales or what have you. So here's the uh, the Herify app. It tells you how many have been sold already. There, there should be a timer. It's probably just my connection or something why it's not popping up really fast and that's basically how you list a product on Shopify that's it it's really simple really easy to the point just make sure that you hit the key points you put the product uh, in there correct oh and one last thing go to your settings I use an app called uh, better shipping app right I use the 299 Shopify um, deal and I use the better shipping app so I come to the better shipping app Oh, I gotta go to apps. Hold up. When, uh, I go to apps. They moved everything on Shopify. They just really recently updated it. So they never, apps never used to be there before. All right, so it's gonna take me out to this third party app called Better Shipping App. And all I'm gonna do that, that makes this super easy is I'm just gonna add the shipping cost for that item. And then I'm gonna start driving traffic to it. 
So here we go. I mean, we'll just locate it. And not all of these are going to have shipping price to them because some of them I am doing free shipping to. So I at least start with around ten ninety seven for shipping. Ten ninety seven for shipping. Hit this little plus sign and it gives you tiered tiered shipping. And then I give them a little cheaper discount. I might do like six ninety nine for shipping down here. Let's be five ninety nine. So it's like fifteen plus. Um, Alright, and that's that. That's all you need to do. Update products. And now if I add this to cart, I didn't add the cart, the cart and check out. If I add this to cart now, it's gonna have the items in there. See how it says zero. This one says 35. I'm gonna remove that. And I'm just gonna go straight to checkout. This is the verification process. Your card has been modified, the shipping rates approved. So you see now the shipping rate shows up, it's 1097. So if I go back to my cart and I increase my quantity, right, I should be able to see that it's gonna be like 15 bucks now. 1696. Boom. Right? So that lets me know that the item is successfully up uploaded. It's it's uh ready for purchase. I'm just gonna try it one more time, go to four. It's ready for purchase. I mean, this is going to give me an abandoned cart in my stat, so it's going to be wrong. But this is just showing you uh, how this works. So there you go, twenty four ninety five. Now customers can go through and make the purchase, and they're going to pay the shipping for three of these, and that's it. So I hope this helps. Hope this gives you some clarity to be able to list products on the Shopify store. This works for each and every product. The only thing that is going to change is whether you're doing a free plus shipping offer or if you're doing a uh, free shipping off or if you're charging shipping that's how you use the better the that's why I use the better shipping app um, so if you got any questions please pop down below in the comments or shoot me a message on Facebook snapchat Instagram DM me email me text me whatever you need to do to get some help uh, so that you can get your items listed and get the ball rocking so that's how you can list the item really quickly it would not it will not take you 22 minutes it'll take you a lot faster after you watch this video once watch it twice watch it three times get used to it do me a favor this video made sense to you give me a like give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and take action on this i hope you hear hear from you see your results in an upcoming uh talk or in a video or some sort uh, my name is leonidas case man take care talk to you soon